Hey, I wanted to tell a little story about my backyard today that'll tell a lot about me. One thing is, you may not know about me is I really love plants. I've got quite a green thumb. And uh, every plant has a story. I'll start over here, which looks kind of boring, but all of these little plant, these plants here um, came from one plant that I kind of broke apart and replanted from the front, that front yard to the backyard. This is a little metal piece that my dad had made that I inherited from him, a little artistic thing. This tree right here in this pot came from a Huntington house that we had and sold about 14, 13 years ago. This is a little something that my dad made. Well, <laughs> my dad was just making these little odds and ends out of metal and uh, anyways, I planted it in this big pot here, which cracked and now grew into the ground and I can't remove the pot because <laughs> it's all attached. And uh, this beautiful, um, ro what is kind of rose is this? Uh, rose nut? Uh, I forget the name of these white roses here. But uh, look at the way it's grown. I've never seen one this tall going all the way around this fountain. Got this fountain probably about 15 years ago from a real estate deal. <laughs> it's all heavy stone. I just planted these two red plants. They're called cordyline. And then this trying to make it go around the fountain. We make the best we can with this zero lot line. That's our neighbor's garage wall. And uh, yeah, just little stories. That little bench was from my dad. In fact, all this patio furniture was from him. There's an old tree stump that I took once <laughs> and put back here. <laughs> I probably weighed 100 pounds. Um, you know, it's not the biggest yard, but I take a lot of pride in it. I just laid these wood chips down again. Now, here's a cool story. This um, oak tree, not oak tree, this uh, olive tree. Gavin and I were trying to plant this. You might remember a post last uh, last summer. And we, he dug down deep about three, four feet and we hit water and uh, realized that we had a slab leak in our house that was coming from underneath the house and all the way over here. So that took about two, three months to finally plant that tree. Um, this is supposed to be a wave on the, <laughs> on the wall, but Elaine says her friends think it looks more like dinosaurs. Um, there's another one of my little stories in the backyard. My dad made that for Gordon and Maria, isn't that cool? when they were babies, really young. And I've planted every single plant in here and replanted it and just so happened to be working really well right now. A little hibiscus, I'm gonna, it pro, in progress. And this is kind of dead now, but this is a cool um, grapevine that in the summer and spring just gives lots of grapes. It's the only fruit producing tree we got back here. So that's my backyard. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Anything else I'm forgetting? That's about it.